Tonight, a Phoenix police officer accused of receiving and being in possession of thousands of images of child pornography remains in the custody of the U.S. Marshal Service. Thanks for joining us tonight for 12 News at 5. I'm Mark Curtis. And I'm Cutty Bedivine. Only on 12 News, 12 News journalist Colleen Sakura was in court in court today for Ala Bartlett's appearance in federal court. Colleen? Yeah, we expected Bartley to appear before the judge about uh, a, a couple of weeks ago, but today, uh, you know, we were told he, he didn't appear a couple of weeks ago because of medical reasons, uh, but he answered several questions from the judge today. Inside federal court, Ala Bartley, a Phoenix police officer standing with his attorney following charges of receiving and possessing thousands of images of child sex abuse, also known as child pornography. The judge deciding Bartley would continue to be detained by the U.S. Marshal Service, saying he's a flight risk and because of instability. Bartley facing charges after the FBI found an adult woman was communicating with him, exchanging explicit images of child sex abuse material. We tried speaking to Bartley at his home after the FBI searched the house in Gilbert and a Phoenix police precinct or substation earlier this month, leading investigators to find 49,000 images of child sex abuse and more than 700 videos. Still, Rich Wistocki, a retired longtime Internet Crimes Against Children detective, telling us cases like these can take months to years to complete forensics on seized devices. We have to look for um, any possible potential victims that this person may have. In your experience, when you go through this forensic piece of looking through each of these images and working to identify each of the victims, how often do you see charges change for, for who you're investigating? All the time. Um, a lot of times um, where the addiction takes them, if they can no longer are satisfied with the images they find on file sharing networks, not saying in, in every case, but can be what they call a situ situational child molester. Sometimes when they're in a position of trust and authority, uh, they have a wide range of victims. Wistocki says in his experience, when one victim comes forward to report, there are often more. We have one coming to report it. We know there's 30, 40 more out there that we have to find. And that's where an investigation like this will take us. Um, we want to see who they're chatting with, what videos they have from real victims, and it's it's just the tip of the iceberg, really. The U.S. Attorney's Office declined to comment when we asked if any additional or different charges are being considered in Bartley's case and have not said whether they have finished reviewing all of the evidence. Phoenix police have not responded to our questions on if Bartley's cases involving kids are being reviewed. And we did ask police for an update today on Bartley's status with the department. They have not replied, uh, but we do know that he spent more than 16 years on the force and is going through the disciplinary process, which could lead to his termination. Mark. Colleen.